It is already incredibly windy, but I am determined to get to the top. Will you look at that? This is Anna, and I'm Emily. We both work at high stress jobs and needed a safe way to get away. So, in October 2020, we rented a camper van, affectionately named Miss Daisy, to go on some fun adventures all around the Blue Ridge Mountains and try out van life for a week. Well, van life isn't exactly as glamorous as it looks online, but despite some downfalls, like always hunting for bathrooms, not having a kitchen or a heater, the upsets definitely outweigh the down. And this is our week-long taste of van life. Good morning. It is 5.40 or 5.50 in the morning. It's 55 degrees in here. It's freezing cold. I have to pee so bad. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to explode. But we've already wrapped out a route from Cracker Barrel to McDonald's. And then to the frying pan, so <laughs> we really want to avoid using that little toilet thing. You ready, girl? We got ready in record time. We're record ready. time. We realized that we couldn't just crawl up in our PJs because this is also where we have to change. And it's a house full of windows, and we don't want the creepy watching us change. <laughs> so we had to change. I was so sad. Mercy breaks off. Engine is cold. It's a little chilly, but it's all right. We'll warm up. We'll warm up. Oh, McDonald's, I really hope you let us come in and pee. I'm all spilled. Hallelujah. As Emily pointed out, those have to be open for them to do business. So, gas stations are the way to go when it comes to using the bathroom. Oh. Secret tunnel. Tunnel time to the secret lookout tower that everybody knows about. <laughs> Google led us astray, and but I, we're like 0.2 miles away from it. So we're gonna turn around. Google said there was still however much longer to drive, so we trusted Google. And now we know. Take it with a grain of salt. Stunning. Oh my God, that's frying pan. Look, 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 up there. Oh, you see that's where we're trying to go. Yeah. Yeah, that must have been where those other cars were. It's up here somewhere. I don't want to drive past it again. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm just going to pull in next to this van. We're here. Let's see if we can climb up here and watch Ooh. the sun cake. All right. Here at Frying Pan. Beautiful view. It's freezing cold. Like, crazy cold. This is going to be the coldest day of the whole trip. Probably. You ready, girl? All right. Jacket. Yes, because it's so cold. Let's go up. Oh, go up the pan. Out of what is it? Out of the, out of the frying pan into the fire. <laughs> oh I would God. like some fire we're, right now. We're going into the frying pan first. We'll see about the fire. Yeah. 
it somewhere, Emily. We just had a period with a steep incline, a longer-ish period. <laughs> we're about to miss it, but we're also very close. Out tower is behind ah. us and my question for Emily was was it worth it to get up at oh dark 30 and drive all this way yep. and hike up an incline yes it's all uphill on a gravel access road to the top of a little yep. mountain and I think it was more than 25 miles I think so it's longer than they said so anyway mm -hmm. give it a shot it's worth it go to the lookout frying pan lookout Miss Daisy, you are looking beautiful this morning. Back in the car looking for a pullover turn, yeah. turn spot. Overlook. Overlook to enjoy the view while we get things situated in the back because we weren't really caring what the back looked like when we got up this morning. We just wanted to hit the road. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Oh, that's pretty during the day. Oh, look at those colors. Oh, fall colors. Oh, look at this view. <laughs> All right. All right, we're gonna park here. Yeah, when we got up at five in the morning, um, my only thought was peeing, so I just threw everything off the windows onto the floor. We gotta go. You missed the step? I missed the step. I Go for it. Oh, 
here. <laughs> no. He like lays them down. I also don't want the reflection to bother any drivers. Like, I mean, look at that. If that's reflecting in someone who's beside us. Right, right there. Yeah! Oh, now we just need a home fit. for that. This will fit. That is perfect. Oh, and now we're all tucked and... dare disobey me. No. Oh, well, look out that away. Woo! A uh, bed with a view. So, uh, when we dropped off my car at Emily's mom's house, they had something for me. I just have to say thank you because Emily's grandmother heard that I was looking at joining the military. She very, very sweetly made me this beautiful, beautiful little lap coat. And I have just got to say thank you because this is so gorgeous mm. and I absolutely love it. So, big shout out to Emily's grandma. Thank <laughs> you so much for thinking of me. I'm trying to figure out what our morning routine will be. We'll make us biscuits and we got fruit and little basket holders. And we're gonna hang yeah. that up and with it being, you know, what are normal fridge temperatures? I'm trying to warm the butter up in my leg. <laughs> Next hike, Water Rock Knob. Love it. Mm. I'm ready. And then a waterfall. And then another waterfall. And depending how we feel, another waterfall. <laughs> oh, I am shocked. This bed, I'm a six foot tall person. We fit sideways. Now my toes are touching the window and they froze. My little piggies froze last night on that window. But we can fit, like my knees were straight. I was impressed. <laughs> That was nice. Well, and technically, if you took away a pillow, it would. Hey, it's just easy. It doesn't always uh, decide to good the first time we try a crank. Let's see. Nope. All right, Miss Daisy, come on. There we go. Aha! We have liftoff. There we go. wall of water more than I do the view. Boy, she is loud. The only bad thing in this van, I have to actually lift my foot off the ground and hit the brake. So on these downhills, I'm like working out my thigh muscle because my foot can't reach the ground and the brake pedal at the same time. Mm -hmm. Well, it's probably gonna be all There's a hell. cute little dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh.
can do it. Yeah, I don't know if this is for people. Oh, like, God. me. I'm known for going off the trail, though. <laughs> Yeah. So Emily is like up there somewhere and I found this like kind of almost trail that may or may not be a trail. I just think it's the woods and how the woods have grown and developed but it is kind of cool because there's crevices and I'm like man there's probably snakes in here. He reemerges. Anna, it's been days. It's been days. What happened? I went. I saw. I came back. <laughs> you didn't conquer? I just enjoyed. I was at one with nature. There's no conquering to be had. <laughs> Woo. Nice. Yeah. Nice skills. Healthy. This is how we lunch on our van trip. Cuties bought some elk jerky from the store, crackers, and granola bars. Good and healthy. Granola bar. I couldn't remember where I put it. Eating oranges like a heathen, biting it off the. <laughs> Alright, now we're on the Cherokee Reservation hiking to see Soka Waterfall. Oh my goodness. Soka! This is beautiful. so cool check out the trail you know a, a little mini cliff so we just kind of a rope to pull we yourself up yeah. yeah we came that way and then ended up back on the trail Woo. And the little mini ropes down cliffs continue Traversing! <laughs> it's kind of wet and slippery, so it's, it's a little bit uh, sketchy, but... Not too bad. Maybe? You get your foot wet? Oh, uh, maybe not. What about that one? No. All right. Yeah, yep, yep. Woo, girl! You did it! Now what? Look at 
this crazy girl. All right, now that Anna has to return, how is she gonna do it? Reservation. We just saw that one waterfall, the what was it called? Soko. Soko, which is on the Cherokee Reservation here in North Carolina. And now we're on our way to see a second waterfall that's a little further in. We're on our way to see Mingo Falls. It looks like it doesn't have that big of a height, so. No. It should, should be a fun little. And then maybe we'll get ice cream. Yes, ice cream. Yeah, that hey, was a very Mingo long. Falls. Woo! One point Okay. It says, yeah, turn here. That just said no access to Mingo Falls. That must be up there, right? The sign was, in fact, correct, and there was no access to Mingo Falls this way, and we could not find how to get there, so we turned around to go and explore some of the shops in the Cherokee Reservation. I was extra bad and got ice cream under my funnel cake. And it looks amazing. Camper van life, we see a restroom and we go for it. It's this is, warm. It's warm finally. It's such a cute little shopping mall-like area. Oh, that's adorable. We're gonna try again for Mingo Falls. We tried and then we went down a road that said no access to Mingo, but we went anyway and there was no access. <laughs> so now we got new directions and we're gonna try again. <laughs> finally found Mingo. It starts with a bunch of stairs. Literally, Google is less than helpful, is the worst at finding it. It's so bad that everyone who's tried to find it like that has caused them to put up like a million signs. Yeah. Like, Mingo's not Which, this way. Of course we ignored. We ignored, time. huh. And the sweet lady that, where I bought my husband's gift, told us how to get here. The directions didn't make sense at first, but then once we got here, we are like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And just ignore Google and follow the signs. <laughs> And then it's just a bunch of stairs. It's only four o'clock right now, but it's completely dark over here. The sun's over there, <laughs> not over here with us. <laughs> oh, wow. like does not show the scale at all. It's like a eight story skyscraper. Like this thing is huge. Best way to end the day is on a rooftop bar watching the sunset with my mama and her sister. Oh my god, that does not make me trust how the elevators work. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Woo! Ooh, this is pretty. Beautiful. <laughs> Squeeze between the plants. Happy! <laughs> You're like, I'm out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> what?